hello as always i hope you're doing well today's video is a little bit different with all the talk going around about manifesting abundance in our lives especially given the energies that have been going on for the past few weeks i wanted to bring to your attention the five most common blockages to manifesting abundance in your life. These blockages, I believe, tend to be quite common, but I also believe that people are very unaware of them or perhaps blinded to them. So I'm hoping to bring them to your attention in this video for you to Perhaps. sit back and reflect or do whatever healing that is necessary to perhaps resolve some of these issues should they be present in you because i believe a lot of them are present in a lot of us <laughs> including yours truly and by abundance the focus here would be on material wealth, money, finances, security, financial security, houses, cars, whatever is associated with wealth that we perceive. Or, if you want, it could also extend further beyond finances into abundance in love, abundance in health, abundance in joy, abundance in freedom. I believe they all tend to be tied in together, but the most common place for you to see sort of the red flags <laughs> that you might have a blockage or you might have this pattern or you might have to resolve this trauma is finances or material wealth as well as health the first one that i would like to bring to your attention is related to self-worth something i know very very well <laughs> i've been doing a lot of healing when it comes to self-worth this tends to happen to people though not exclusively but it seems to be a common theme in those who grew up in dysfunctional households where it was always about a certain person or certain people if you grew up in this dysfunctional atmosphere for from a young age and you were exposed to this for a prolonged period of time you will find that your needs, your desires were always put aside. You were always neglected. You were always put last. It was never about you. It was never about how you felt. It was never about what you needed because it was always about the other people. These people unfortunately tend to be adult figures in our lives that probably heavily influenced us. They also tend to be narcissists. It is always about the narcissist's wants and needs. Another red flag that this might be something that is unresolved in you is that you attract narcissists even though you don't know that you do the point here is throughout your life you were always made to feel unworthy to the point that it became a pattern that you believed and you unconsciously perpetuated this pattern even though you have left the dysfunctional people, the narcissists, the dysfunctional household, even though you no longer reside there, the pattern continues on with you. 
and you'll see it also as a form of people pleasing do you always try to please others even if it is at the cost of your own self you have problems with prioritizing yourself you have issues with prioritizing your needs you have issues with accepting compliments you have issues with accepting gifts those are all sort the of cocktail that forms lack of self-worth even though you think that you deserve all these things you deny them to yourself essentially you deny abundance unconsciously you are denying abundance you are resisting it even though the universe is trying to give it to you you unconsciously are rejecting it so that's an important pattern to look into and it requires courage it requires a lot of honesty with yourself and to respect yourself it also requires that you love yourself which is why i have a few videos on my channel about self-love the second block is fear you have an internal fear of being rich of having love of having whatever it is that you associate with abundance if it's money chances are perhaps when you were younger or perhaps at some point in your life that traumatized you something was taken away from you perhaps someone was taken away from you and that trauma led you to feel that you cannot have the things that you want that you cannot have the things that you desire because you are afraid that should you acquire them someone or something will take them away from you once again this is a very unconscious pattern of behavior this is your subconscious mind controlling you most likely you are extremely unaware you are blind to this which is why once again a lot of reflection a lot of maybe journaling a lot of honesty with yourself perhaps even some shadow work is needed but an example of this would be let's say at some point in your life somebody stole something from you that was valuable that was important and you could never really retrieve that item again that trauma might lead to feeling unsafe should you possess or acquire the things that you want and as such you push them away even though you think you want them number three guilt and shame and perhaps even hatred of money you cannot condemn something and then expect it to be present in your life you can't hate money and at the same time expect to have it you can't hate the qualities of rich people and expect money to arrive in your life you can't be jealous and shit talk people who are rich and famous and expect to be rich and famous you are contradicting your own self and once again 
you might be engaging in this or you might have this internal conflict going on, but you cannot associate it with lack of abundance in your life. A good practice to overcome this is to begin to notice how it is you feel and how it is you respond and the energy that you emit. When you see people with money, when you are around people who are rich, what do you feel? Do you feel genuinely happy for them? Or do you feel jealous and angry and resentful of them? To resolve this is to wish them well. Not only to wish them well, but wish them well and mean it. Because the universe that wants to deliver abundance to you responds to how you feel, not to what you say. Say these words, wish people well. Begin to replace the old ways of being where you would feel anger, where you would feel hatred, where you would feel jealousy. Catch yourself when you begin to emit these energies out into the universe and say, I'm happy for them. Start to train or retrain yourself to have a change of attitude and it will eventually sink in, especially if you genuinely have an intent to resolve this conflict within you. That way you're not sending this, the universe mixed messages. I hate money, but I want money. I hate rich people, but I want to be rich. That way the universe can get a clear signal from you that you love money. And you know what? Money loves you too. So it wants to be in your presence. So show it that you want it to be in your presence too. Number four, having an unhealthy relationship with money, which is very common and you see it. I've seen it. I'm sure you've seen it either in family or friends. Qualities such as greed and holding on really, really tight to money it, to the point that it's, it's, it becomes a characteristic in you, which is, I have to say, <laughs> quite the turnoff. <laughs> but imagine money as a consciousness and it comes into your life and what do you do? You suffocate it <laughs> by holding on to it so much. It's, it's essentially accumulate, 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 accumulate. It's a very unbalanced <laughs> uh, situation. It's, it's a very unbalanced energy where there is greed probably related to a limiting belief that is associated with fear of not having money or of losing the money. So In spirituality, there is an understanding about how to balance this out. So you establish an outflow first in order for the inflow to occur. It doesn't just have to be money. It's the same with love. You can't put out hate into the world. You can't put out rejection of people and things into the world and expect others to accept and love you. You have to put out love, establish the outflow in order for the inflow to occur. It's the same with trust. You can't distrust everyone openly and treat them with distrust and then demand or expect that they trust you and get upset when they don't. You must put out trust first for the inflow to occur. The same goes with money. 
I'm not telling you go throw millions and hundreds of dollars that you don't have. I am saying release your grip a little bit and retrain yourself because we have been trained so poorly and we have been traumatized so much and no one raises awareness about these things so we keep perpetuating patterns put out money with gratefulness with happiness with joy with knowing that you are helping this person or that person or that you put out this money you bought this thing well you gave you just gave this person business that's good energy not I'm buying this, but I, I, I don't want to buy it. I, I, I feel bad. I, I'm, I'm going to return it. <laughs> Put out money with happiness and with gratitude and with trust. Good energy. And that will establish the inflow back to you. And keep doing this. Don't break the bank. Don't get into debt. And then say, well, Iman said I have to establish an outflow. <laughs> be balanced be realistic about it as well you can put out a dollar and put it out with good energy and that's establishing an outflow and you don't have to do it every day but i'm just trying to explain that fear of losing money that makes people hold on to money and suffocate it why would money come to you so you can suffocate it and it can never see the light of day again money likes to be touched money likes to go around because money likes to make people happy so drop this learned pattern of holding on to whatever money that comes into your life out of fear of losing it and replace it with trust trust that the universe has your back trust that the universe will always provide to you and trust that you are protected the universe doesn't want to see you broke it doesn't want to see you get harmed that's not the goal but you must realize these patterns within yourself and fix them And finally, number five, which is related to number four, actually. But number five is the need to control and the need to know. I have to know that this investment is going to yield this, this, this much money. Tomorrow, where am I going to make my money from? In five years, how much money will I have in the bank? this obsessiveness and the need to control <laughs> the need to control from a human aspect is sad and and miniature and you're actually blocking the abundance the magnificence that the universe wants to give to you because you're so narrow and focused on what you know which is very limited might i add in this universe and I have to get money this way. I know I'm going to get this much money. So that's what I'm going to do. And if it ha doesn't happen your way, you introduce resistance. Because the only way that you know and you were told to make money for some reason is not working out. So let me get depressed. Let me worry. Let me fight. Let me stay up at night. Let me do this. Let me do that. Let me call this person and try to fix it. I'm not telling you let your life and your finances go to shit. <laughs> I'm saying drop the need to control, especially if things are no longer working out for you the way they used to. Have trust, have faith. Two words that have become dirty in this day and age. Have trust, have faith that you are safe in this world, that you don't need to know, that you don't need to control, that it ultimately really is none of your business because 
the universe is not going to tell you how it's going to surprise you with abundance and magnificence and wealth. The universe wants you to trust it. And when I say the universe, I mean you. You need to trust you. You need to have faith in you. And that is what you need to do. Trust your higher self. Believe in your higher self. Know that a lot of us lost quite a bit in the past three years. And because we lost so much, we could not resist, <laughs> nor could we plan, nor could we control. And it's been an interesting ride because we're doing well. Probably for me personally, I'm doing the best that I have ever done in my life since the shit show that was COVID where I lost everything. I lost my business, my income, my friends. I lost it all. And I surrendered to the universe. And since then, I've learned to trust. And I'm here to share these things with you and to help guide. I hope you found <laughs> this video at the very least entertaining <laughs> and helpful. Please feel free to leave me a comment. I'm going to leave my Patreon link in the description. Plenty healing, plenty reprogramming, videos in it to help guide you through exactly this. This shift from the old ways of being into the new ways. Oh.